YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, I've done the video on how you use this and ICS software to update these little Evos from PC. And uh, somebody put a comment and I thought, yeah, that's quite a good point. They ain't got a PC. So, I had a good look around and basically, all we're going to need is one of these and... I won't link the one that I'm using because basically it's going to be phone specific. Um, I've only got this to work on Android. So if you're an iPhone user or iPad user, you're going to have to do some digging. And Apple are pretty locked down with what they'll let you do. So you may not be able to get this. Uh, but basically you want a USB on the go cable. This side is going to be whatever your phone needs. This side is going to be USB type A and we're going to use the same DAS micro um, adapter for ICS connection. So we're going to do this. Then you're going to want to plug it into your Mini Z. So literally just the red cable towards the front. And then we're going to need a phone. And what I'll do, I'll uh, make sure I can record this and I'll put it up on screen so you can see exactly what we're doing. Right, so first thing we're going to want to do is go to the Play Store. And then once you're on Play Store, you're going to want to search Evo and then ICS. We're going to download that one at the very top. We're going to install it. Once you've got it installed, you can open it. Now, this is called IC, uh, Evo ICS Reader. But if you go over to the Advanced tab and you press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. Anybody from the uh, Mega Drive days will like that one. And if you then back out of it. So all we need to do once we've got that is connect the USB device. You'll get a prompt come up on your screen saying do you always want to let it open with it. Just click yes. Then you will get your tap on the ICS adapter screen. And you'll see the USB ICS adapter. So. We just plug the adapter in, have the other end plugged into your Evo, have your controller turned off, and you want to turn it on, and we're going to click read, and that's it, that's read all your settings. So we've got all the same settings as what we had on the PC, uh, you've got your steering power, uh, low power, high power, steering speed, punch level. And then your neutral zone. Uh, where it says dumping, I think that is the sort of softening for when it comes to a stop. Uh, your neutral offset and then your servo limits. So they're your endpoints. So if you ain't got a pro controller or something that's easy to set all your endpoints, you can do it in here. If we look on the throttle tab, the RF mode at the top, the MHS is the one that the pro and I think most of the cow show kit users and then you've got asf that you can switch it into for the other ones uh, your reverse timer just same as pc neutral brake motor constant uh, curve control and then your punch uh, max resolute revolutions uh, neutral range and then your brake and then at the bottom you have brushed or brushless mode then you've got your presets for your gyro and the LIFE or LIFE LVC mode is at the bottom of that screen. And then on the advanced tab is where you press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. And if you saw on the bottom of the screen, it says enables right mode. So basically, uh, that's an easy one to show you that it works or it doesn't. So if we turn that on, then go back, then go right. It says right complete. So if we then power off as little Evo, disconnect. If 
we power on and we'll get this controller on so you can see I'll try and zoom in see if you can see but the LVC green lights on so you can see that definitely ripped to it Shutting down. so we'll turn it off we'll plug us cable back in we'll power up and if we click read it's read it again um, at the top you've got reset which will reset to your stock settings basically for the MRO3 or MAO3 and I want to turn the life battery LVC back off so if we go to that and then right right complete so then power it off disconnect us cable power it back on You can see we're fully functioning and we've only got the blue light so it does actually write to it perfect so basically this is all you're going to need just a usb on the go cable and the same usb adapter that uh, we got to do the pc one for less than 15 quid don't think these are very expensive at all um you don't need a really long one because literally that's all you're connecting and you just pop it in the bottom of your phone and you've got a USB. And on a side note, if you've got an Android phone, you can plug a keyboard, mouse or anything into that and it'll work with your device, be it a phone or a tablet. Um, external hard drives, pretty much everything seems to work on it. So may come in really useful for you for other things. Uh, I know I used to use it a lot with the DJI drone so you can connect directly to your phone so you're not using wi-fi works a lot better but hopefully uh, you find that useful and i know a lot of people out there you've all got mobile phones but not everybody's got a pc or a fully functioning pc um over the last few years it's been a nightmare to get anything for uh, pcs and rcs as well by the looks of it but thanks again for watching wtf rc cars hope you find that interesting or useful uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, share to friends and family, and uh, catch you guys again in the next one.